Hockey's program in science really started with trying to give students an opportunity to have a real authentic experience with what science was and what scientists were doing. Addressing the fact that students do not see science as relevant to their lives or to the world that they live in. It was about finding partners who were prepared to work with students and involve them in their research and get them to inquire about the work that they were doing with special relevance to society and the world at large. There's a downturn in science students. Students are not choosing to do physics or chemistry especially and that girls are not choosing to do physics and chemistry as much as we would be expecting. giving them the opportunity to see how scientists are addressing really big important questions like how do we solve malaria, how do we cure the influenza virus. We're trying to engage students in really understanding how important careers in science are and how important understanding science that's going on around them actually is as well. It can be quite a challenge at times to figure out different ways of thinking about the same thing you've thought about for years. It helps me to understand what I already know because when you have to explain something really, really simply, I think you have to be able to understand it. It's a real challenge to step down from your jargon and your technical words and try to explain the core of the science to people who aren't familiar with university physics at all. We have to think back to when we were in high school so that they can understand it and that's good for us and it's good for them. And it's possible to do some very advanced physics without being some sort of Einstein-like genius. They seem a bit shy at first to ask questions, but once they feel at ease, they get quite keen on asking us everything they've ever wanted to know about science. I've always been interested in science. I couldn't really pinpoint what type of science that I wanted to be involved in. I liked working with the scientists and the mentors because they all were really supportive. It's different from a normal class experience because you get more engaged and you conduct experiments. It's not just reading off a textbook or something, we put our knowledge into practice. As it's like a small group, you get more engaged and you can communicate more and you get more out of it. It's very different to the school environment because we get a lot of independence and the equipment is more advanced. A lot of thinking, processing all the information and seeing how it works. It wasn't just learning, it was fun as well. Very educational and very exciting. They actually started describing really well all the things that we'd spent the week teaching them. I was asking questions of the students and they were giving me answers and it was clear that they understood what, what was going on. And that was, that was actually quite a highlight. We'd succeeded, we'd actually managed to teach them something that's really kind of cool. The Sudoku puzzle uses this method called the iteration method. You have to solve it using these constraints step by step as an iterative process and come to the final solution. Which was what we used in diffraction to see the molecule. And it's completely analogous to what we do in actual physics in our research group. And they understood it. They say they haven't understood it, but they had. I think it will help me to determine what type of career path I would like to undertake. Possibly forensics or maybe chemistry. I've always wanted a career in science and that was like the whole point. They come back to the classroom enthused, invigorated. Many of them come back and want to do physics. They can see the place of physics in the solutions. The next generation of people who are going to stand out above the crowd who are going to become the solution to many of the problems that we're faced with today.